Grouping data is here to make your life easier, kind of like a lot of this other stuff we do with Excel. It's there really to simplify your job. And you can group rows and columns together. Once you have your group, that data, you are able to then expand and collapse it. So let me show you an example using Microsoft Word. Here I have header one, header two, some text, and header three, and some text. Notice when I go by the header three, there's this little drop arrow. I click on it and that text disappears. That's because this is grouped under header three. So I click that. Here's header two with text and under header two is header three. So I click this and it's all under header one. So if I click this, it all disappears. You can see I have the information grouped and I can expand that information and I can collapse that information. Now let's take a look at how this would apply to Excel. Here I have a group of rows. I have it all in one column and I have a whole bunch of rows, section one and a whole bunch of subsections, section two and a whole bunch of subsections and you know, number three, et cetera. I want to be able to group all of this under section one. I want to be able to group all of this under section two, and I want to be able to group all of this under section three. But I also want to be able to group sections one, two, and three together. So let's see how we do that. First, let me highlight all of this information. I'm going to go to the data tab. I am going to go to outline, which is way over here. And then there's a button that says group. How convenient. I'm going to click on the group drop down and I am going to click on group. It asks me, do I want to group the rows or columns together? In this case, I want to group the rows. So I will click OK. And notice what happened here. This whole thing just appeared. If I click that, it disappears. I click it back, it reappears. Now I want to nest the subsections under each section. So I'm going to highlight subsection one. Again, make sure I'm in the data tab. Go over here to group, click the drop down, click group, click rows. And now subsection one is nested under section one. So now I have two different sections there. Let me do the same for two. Highlight that. Go to group, click the drop down, click group, rows, click OK, and I now have them in subsections. Let's take a look next at columns. Here I have, oh, just a made up grade book here. I have my quizzes and the quiz average, my tests and my final grade. Let's say I really don't want to take a look at all the quiz scores. I just want to see the quiz average because sometimes grade books can get really, really long. I've had grade books that have had like 20 quizzes. I'm going to highlight what I want to be able to group together, which would be quizzes, making sure I'm in my data tab. I'm going to go over here to group. I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to click group. Now you're not going to see the option for rows because I'm highlighting the column. So it automatically figures out that that's what I want to group together. I'll click the minus that collapses everything. I still have that plus up here. I can click on it and expand it. And there we go. We looked at how to group rows and group columns together.